this demonstration, we've taken a, a small SUV and added quite a few nodes on here with NEC Electronics microcontrollers to show uh, distributed computing architecture here. So we have a complete three-tier vehicle network. We're using Fluxray for a backbone. There's five Fluxray nodes using our V850 PHO3 microcontrollers. The user inputs can be taken from the console here to control the vehicle with the steering wheel, console. All the commands are set over the Fluxray back row, backbone to one of the five Fluxray uh, nodes where the commands are either, either acted upon or relayed to the CAN and LIN networks also in this vehicle. The green, the green wires here show the, the Fluxray network. The yellow show the CAN, blue show the LIN networks. We have two CAN, CAN nodes on the front and back of the vehicle and seven LIN nodes controlling the lighting features, the mirror features, and uh, the air conditioning units here in the vehicle. We also have a braking unit here, electronic caliper braking unit. It's taking commands from the user over the Flexray network to act on the brake. We'll set it in auto mode here, so we're automatically generating some commands in the car. So you see the wheels turn, the steering turn, as commands are being sent across the network. addition is receiving commands from the vehicle as to the speed and RPM data. We have a traditional needle-based system here. We're using our DX3 microcontrollers. And we also have a, a virtual graphics dashboard unit here. We have the exact same data as the traditional one. This is using our Raven M graphics controller. The total we have 16 microcontrollers in this demo. Three tiers of networking, flex rate, can and lid. It really shows the power uh, that NEC can provide for a distributed architecture.